Hey guys, Moose here. Welcome back to another episode of Community Inc. We appear to be in combat here. I don't recall this happening. Looks like some kind of goblin. It's dead now. Drop some gold. That's, you know, that's not bad. I'll take that. Oh, I should probably turn the alarm back on. I didn't realize there was another one. We seem to, we seem to be doing a pretty good job of uh, dispatching these jokers. Got some money for our trouble. Are there more? Don't appear to be any more, so let's turn off the alarm. You guys can go back to bed. Don't worry about it. Alright. Kind of feel like we got enough gold. In fact, I kind of feel like anything other, co other than cotton at this point is a little bit frustrating. So, get rid of all that. I think I'm hearing birds? I don't know. It's a little strange. Anyway, this should get built relatively soon. Let's kick up the speed here. Stuff's getting made. Plenty of material to build this. Shouldn't be a problem. I think we have enough wood planks. Don't believe I was making any, so let's go ahead and make some. Firewood's probably unnecessary, but eh, we're doing it anyway. Let him, let him go. It's not a big deal. Hey, they're allergic to working on the cotton, which I can't tell, but it might be getting bigger. It's a little hard to say. I kind of feel like maybe there's a reason it's black. Uh, I don't want trade. Research is what I want. Yeah, but it seems like we should have it, though, is the thing. I don't know why it would be black. Alright, we're getting attacked again. Going after my chicken, D-bag. That's not very nice. There are a lot of enemies coming out. We're dispatching them relatively quickly, but there's still a lot of them. Alright, we're good. Uh... No. That's a little sketchy. I don't really want to just kill some random guys. Doesn't sound like my kind of thing. So here's the thing. We got caught we got cotton at some point, so where the hell do we get cotton? It exists, it's in the wild somewhere, but where? I see some stuff that looks like wheat right here, but Oh, there's some. Is that like a plantation? Oh, hello. Do I have to tell them to... No. Okay. So that'll get us some cotton. What about this guy? Is that cotton? That looks like something else. That's cotton. Alright, so there are some options here. Growing it doesn't appear to be doing anything, but on the bright side... Okay, that looks greenish. What if I zoom in on the other ones? Yeah, it looks the same. Okay, so it's not like grayed out or something. That doesn't appear to be what's happening. Oh, that's the chickens making that sound. That makes a lot of sense. I thought it was these guys, like something they were doing was making that sound. I was very confused. It's cool though. It's just the chickens, all right. We're short on a lot of things, why? I don't think we need to make any more firewood. You guys should be able to build, like... You should be going right now, right? We have all the materials, so what's the issue? Hmm. We shall see, I suppose. Seems like no one's doing much of anything at the moment. And this guy's working hard, everyone else is just kind of like... What, are you, what were you guys doing? What in the world could you possibly have been doing over here? <laughs> like, come on, dude. What's going on? That's bizarre. Well, whatever it is, they appear to be done with it, so... 
Still haven't harvested that. We might need the... Do we not have the carpenter set up? Yeah, we do. Okay, so he should be... There's no reason for... Okay, it is in progress. It just didn't look like it was. That's good to see. I appreciate the dedication to food. I just wish you guys would do the cotton as well. It would make my life substantially easier. All right, a bunch of people are sleeping outside. Oh, it's winter? That's not good. Perhaps I should make some more beds. I can't, because I lack wood plates and cotton. Yeah, two good reasons to not be able to do that. Well, it's going to get cold. <laughs> We're going to have some issues. But we got firewood, so... Did someone just get murdered, or was that a chicken? I think that was a chicken that just got murdered. That has to be chickens dying, right? It's like a <laughs> knife-slitting flesh or something. That's a scary noise. God, what is that? What is your deal? If you're cold, go back to the fire. And people are getting cold, that's why. Alright, well what do you want me to do about it? Or they're sick. They're sick, okay, well what can I even do about that? I don't know how to heal them? Everyone is now sick. I haven't got the slightest idea what I can do about that. Or if there's even anything I can do about that. I don't have any of this. <laughs> like, come on, guys, I'm kind of... Seems to be out of my hands. There's one guy that's not sick. I guess I foraged too much in the beginning there. Uh, who likes me? Uh, how, yeah, but could like you trade with me? Damn it, that didn't help. I wanted them to trade with me to give me antidotes or something, because I don't like. I don't see what I can do here. I haven't found any of the stuff required to make what I need, which is antidotes, presumably. Yeah, man, I don't know. This is... This feels like it's out of my hands. It may not be, but it sure feels like it's out of my hands. Why are we short? Are we really short? No, we're not short on roof tiles. What are you guys doing? takes five more, you've got 38. That's what this number means. We have 38, so why are you not finishing construction? I don't have... Well, I could make that, but... Not really my priority right now, to be honest with you. For the life of me, I've got no idea... What the hell I'm supposed to do here? Okay, they're finally delivering material. You know, a lot of times with situations like this, you could blame the player and say, well, you're stupid, you did this wrong, but uh, sure doesn't feel that way right now. I kind of feel like I, I'm completely helpless. There's very little that I'm able to do here. They don't seem interested in turning on the fire or uh, lighting the fire. Wish they would. Now this guy's sick too. Literally everyone is sick. And they're just running around coughing and taking damage. So we can all listen to this chorus of coughs. What the hell am I supposed to do? This feels like I might be forced to restart. Alright, 
at least the warehouse is done, for what little good that does us. But I feel like my hands are just tight and there's just like super loud coughing happening in the background that I can't stop. And we're getting attacked. I think someone just died. Oh, there we go. Two deaths. Three deaths. Because people are sick and there's nothing... Oh, Rat Karai killed himself. They all are killing themselves. Great. Oh, great timing. Oh, but you need that. You're not willing to trade for it. Okay, then. Alright, well, I think this is the story of how our first, uh... First attempt ends here. I kind of... Like, I gotta throw my... Yes, it, it failed because of something that I failed to do, but... What the hell was I supposed to do there? The game hasn't exactly explained, like, oh, they're sick, you need to get this. I'm just assuming it was an antidote, none of which I've found with my herbalist. I mean, sorry, to clarify, none of the materials for which I've found. So what am I supposed to do? Alright, this guy's dead. Just... He's gonna die. That's fine. Back to the main menu. This one's done. That, that was a failure. That's fine. We can try again. Uh, not super thrilled about that. Um, delete. Uh, let's try this again. Right? Everything's the same. Alright. We understand the game a little bit better this time. I think we can make faster progress completely random super loud noise in the background fantastic i think we can do this now the tutorials didn't really do a very good job of teaching any of this some of it was there like the food thing i should have known but that that had nothing to do with why we had problems so i i can't look at that and say oh that's what that's what caused the downfall it was some <laughs> just like well, if you don't have a working herbalist at this point, you're dead. End of conversation. And there's just, well, fuck, if you don't have it, tough. <laughs> Nothing you can do. Didn't mean to swear. I have a bad habit of doing that, which probably contributes to all the demonetization, but I feel like it's kind of stupid that you're no longer really allowed to swear on YouTube. I think that's completely idiotic, but whatever. It's not, I don't own YouTube, so no one cares what I think. Alright. Get a couple of these jokers. They look different. I don't know why they look different. Alright. First off, want to use a builder. That's fine. You are going to be our miner. One of you is going to be... Oh, that's... Why did it add to the... I guess it's alphabetical. Yeah. You can be a farmer. Place that. Place that. Hopefully they can't both catch on fire. If we're lucky. Give me another one. Uh, newbie. Probably you. You can be an herbalist. And I will try to move things along quickly so that I can get uh, a couple guards. It seems like two is a good number. I feel like the game audio is a little bit loud. Well, it shouldn't be. But now it's way lower? What the f- are you kidding me? The audio defaults to, f to full volume until you check the audio and then it's like, oh, oops. Yeah, sorry, we remember your settings now. Let me change that for you. <laughs> Is that, are you actually kidding me? That, more than anything else I've seen so far, is a knock against this game. Like, the settings don't take effect unless you look at them and then it's like, oh, oops. My bad. Let me fix that for you. <laughs> Man, what a joke. That's That's pretty awful. This, I don't... I have to check now. Is this early access? Please tell me it's early access. I thought this was out. No, this is not early access. This is released. Are you kidding me with that bug? Or feature, whatever the hell you want to call it. That is a joke. 
That is like borderline unforgivable to have that kind of an issue. Yeah, well. I guess maybe we can say it's an indie game and leave it at that. But there's a lot of indie games that have a higher standard of quality. Not to not to go too hard on this, but that is kind of suspect. Like, come on. Your settings won't take... I mean, maybe I misinterpret it, but the volume monitor on OBS seems to indicate that I'm not wrong. Settings don't have an effect until you look at them. Or at least the audio settings, which is just hilarious. And I can't necessarily tell, so I'm kind of relying on OBS's monitor. Because my, I change my local volume all the time, whether it's the desktop volume or or the headphones, the the actual recording has nothing to do with that. I could mute everything on my end, you guys would still hear it just fine, so I kind of have to just uh, hope that it's the right volume for you guys. It's not necessarily in my ears the way it's going to sound for you, which is why it can be kind of hard to figure out how to do it. I'm sure there's a way to do that more intelligently than how I do it, but... I'm not, I'm not particularly knowledgeable and I'm not going to pretend that I am. I'm technically, li I'm, I'm tech literate for sure, but there's plenty of stuff that I arguably should know and don't or could be better at that I'm not. It's, that's one of those things that if I put the time in, I could probably figure out like, hey, I need to, I should have it pipe through my headphones the way you guys hear it but I mean even with you guys you guys have volumes there's volume on YouTube there's volume like your actual computer volume uh, you might have the headset has its own volume the speakers you have have their own volume They're, we don't do a very good job of uh, <coughs> managing volume settings with much of anything you know with TVs they don't uh, it really sucks. I wish there were standards for that. Like, channel to channel, it's not usually the same. Like, a lot of them operate under the same principle, but there's some channels that are much quieter. Like, uh, with radio, all the music channels pretty much are the same, but if I go to KN... Uh, not KNBR. KNBR is a local sports radio station. That's not what I'm thinking of. NPR. If I go to NPR, it's way quieter than anything else, and I don't have an explanation as to why. It's very strange. I should probably get some, uh... Uh, nope. I need stone. Unsurprising. I hope they get a... Light a fire under it on that one. So we gotta hurry up. Did I... I designated a farmer, right? Yeah, I did. Why am I not using them? Let me see if this even works. If I give you... Nothing but the cotton, are you actually gonna work on it? Seems really excited to get to work. Oh no, that's your blast. That's a farm. Nope, that's not the farmer. That's the. Where the hell is the farmer? This guy? No, builder. This is the farmer. I can't click on him for reasons. There he is. I don't know what he's just carrying stuff back. He doesn't want to work. Oh, the herbalist does. Ah, okay, that's interesting. I really would have. You know, if you're going to put that under plantations, like... <laughs> yeah, that's kind of BS. You need an herbalist to tend to this? The farmers won't do it? How the hell am I supposed to know that? What in the world was going to communicate that detail to me? It seems kind of suspect that you're just going to not let me know what I need to know about that. Well, one's fine. I think we had corn and, yeah, we do carrots. Three different ones, it's, you know, give them some variety. I'm still a little bit PO'd about herbalists being required to work the cotton there. That actually helps a lot now that I understand what's going on. But it's so dumb, like why, how am I supposed to know that unless I just randomly happen to plant cotton while I also have an herbalist? How am I supposed to figure that out? I guess we're just going to have to chalk that up as another uh, 
flaw, I guess. That's, you know what, I, we're, we're at the end of the episode here, but I want to talk about this a little bit. Just, just a little bit. This is a topic mainly for another time, I just want to touch on it right now because it's interesting. If you're designing a game, everyone gets caught up on like, hey, oh, this would be a really cool mechanic, or oh, it'd be so cool if the game worked like this. And there's games like um, Escape from Tarkov is one that I just recently picked up. I instantly regretted paying $45 for that game. Yeah, yeah, it's in beta, yeah, yeah, whatever. But it plays like every kind of... I, I guess I maybe want to say Eastern European FPS, where it just, like, it doesn't... It controls in a way that's completely uncomfortable. And that's not really my point, but it does have major flaws there. I don't, I don't like how it controls, but... Um, it's, it's all great and fun. Like, I love the idea of Escape from Tarkov. I love the idea of, like, the, just looting. I play the hell out of Stalker because I love looting in Stalker. I love going around and collecting weapons, and I have my storage, and I have my backpack. I don't really like it as much when it's, like, Borderlands because all the variation is trivial. Give me standardization with a bunch of, like, mods and stuff I can put on my weapon. I find rare mods that are better for this gun or that gun or whatever. It doesn't matter. Just give me looting without crazy, fake variety with the guns. I like that mechanic. But mechanics are worth nothing if you don't do them in a way that works for the player. And this is a really, this game right now so far, and we're only like, what, four episodes in? This is so far a good example of it. The core concept of this is fantastic. I love the idea of basically running a town builder as a business and, and saying like, hey, you need to make money with this settlement and then you'll move on to the next one. A lot of the problem with town builders is you build and you build and then you're done and then it's like, well, what? There's nowhere to go with it. This kind of solves that problem. There's something to do, there's something that, somewhere to take it. And it, there's a mechanic for starting over and building a new town without, without necessarily losing your progress. And that's great. All of that is fantastic. But if you don't execute properly in a way that the player can understand and you don't show the player what they need to do and design the mechanics in such a way that it's clear and makes sense, you get a bad game. No matter how good your ideas are, no matter how good the mechanics might be once you know them and understand them, if you don't make them accessible and fun and understandable, I guess, it's hard for me, there's not like a one word thing, you know, but you can kind of see it here and I think you probably, if you play a lot of games, you probably understand what I'm talking about. It's, it's something that people are almost never good at. Designer, game designers, developers, this is the biggest pitfall in my opinion, more than almost anything else. This is where people fail, because they think that you don't need this. They think that, uh, you know, oh, simple, so boring, it's simple, socks, it's uh, do something interesting, do something fun. It's not about that. It doesn't work that way. Simple is beauty. Sorry, let me say that again, except like without stumbling over my words. Simplicity is beauty. You give me a simple game with an engaging mechanic that like, it, yeah, okay, there's not much going on, but man, what it has going on is perfect. It's dead on, it makes sense, it's easy to understand, it's easy to interact with. People can point to Minecraft all day and say, you know, hey, wow, it's just got, uh, what, it's iron, gold. Like, as far as metals go, iron is sort of where you're at for most stuff, and then you can go to diamond, which is the ultra rare. That's beautiful. It's simple. There's only, you know, you're not getting lost in like, oh, damn, it's true. Is tin better than iron? Is iron better than tin? What about copper? What about all these other metals that get mixed up? Terraria still does a good job with that. And I'm not really knocking Terraria on that point, but it's a good kind of comparison. There's beauty and simplicity. There's a benefit to making something simple and easy to understand. Minecraft succeeded on the back of that, I think, plus... Well, basically on the back of that, because when you break it down, it's an extremely simple game. And then it lets you create the complexity. Don't, don't make the complexity yourself. Don't design complexity into the game. Allow the player to take your simple mechanic and make it complex because they want to, because it's fun to play with that mechanic. That's the way you design something. And this, I think, didn't do a good job with that. 
we'll leave the rest of that for another day. But I think that's a really, really interesting topic that's a lot of fun to think about and talk about. So sorry I got kind of carried away at the end of the episode here. Hopefully you guys stuck around to hear that because I think it's I think it's fun to talk about. And I don't have all the answers and everything I say isn't necessarily correct. So if you disagree with me, feel free to leave a comment or hop by our Discord, which... I can't, there isn't really a good spot for me to put a Discord link. I guess I could start putting in the, uh, into the comment, the, uh, descriptions on, on YouTube videos, but updates to Discord break the link, and I, I don't know, it's, I, then I have to go back and update shit, and I don't wanna, I don't really wanna do that, so, just post a comment for it if you wanna join up, but yeah, or feel free to leave a comment, because I'll probably reply to it, unless you're being dis, like, if you're being negative and it's not like constructive criticism and it's not something I've addressed before, I'll I'll reply if it's decent. But there's been some comments that I don't reply to for good reason because I've talked about them and there's reasons why things are the way they are when people ask me to change something. So anyway. That's kind of a whole separate thing. Point is, if you if you comment, I'll probably wind up replying eventually. So yeah, feel free to leave a comment. Anyway, long overdue. Time to end the episode. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope you'll join us for the next one as well. If you did enjoy it, feel free to come by twitch.tv slash electronic moose. Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, 6 to 8 p.m. PST, 9 to 11 p.m. EST. Check out a stream if you'd like. If not, thanks for watching here on YouTube, and I will see you next time. Take care.